To create the design, you need to add a cube. Then scale this cube along the x-axis and then scale it along the y-axis. Then apply the scale. Then go to the read mode, select these edges and control B add bevel on them. Select everything, press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. Then you need to add one more cube. Then scale it along the x-axis. Move it along the z-axis. Then shift key to duplicate it and rotate it into 90 degree. And then scale it along the y-axis. Select this cube and select this cube and shift Q use the boolean operation difference. Then select this cube and this cube and use this boolean operation difference. If you are facing this kind of overlapping boolean issue then just adjust the position of these cutter objects. Then select this cube, shift T to duplicate it and move it along the Z axis in this way. And then select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. I am facing difficulty, so I need to adjust the position of the cutter object. Then apply all the modifiers and then delete this cutter objects. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. Select everything and then press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged. And increase this merging distance. Then delete the one half of the model and we will start to create the topology on it. Use the knife tool and create this kind of cut. Now here we are facing one some difficulty. Here you can see. Go to the bottom side. Use the knife tool. And then create cut like this. Select everything. Press M and merge by distance. And now we are getting proper loop structure at there. Select this face and use the insert operation add there. Now here you can see. Select this edge and dissolve it. And then select these words and merge them at last. In this way. Then select these words and then connect them. And now we are getting proper loop structure add there. Use the knife tool and create center cut in this way. And create topology. Create cuts at the bottom side. Then dissolve this edge. And here also you need to create a topology. So use the knife tool and create cut. Now select this words and then press S, Z and give the value 0. Now we have got the proper corbis topology over there. Here also you need to create one cut. Like this. And then dissolve this edge. Now you can see we have got the proper loop structure. Then hit the control 2 and add the sub D modifier. And you can see it is looking really well. Uncheck this option. Go to the select and select sharper edges. So it will select all the sharper edges. Select this connected edges in this way. And then press control B and add bevel on them. Shape factor should be 1 and add a 2 segment bevel and give the proper bevel width. And you will get this kind of design. Share smooth it like this. Then you can add one more loop cut here. Few loop cuts here. Then select these words and press J to connect them. And then dissolve these edges in this way. Select these words and press J to connect them. And then dissolve these edges. You need to add few loop cuts here. And add few loop cuts here. Then select everything, mesh and symmetrize, take the symmetry. And there you go. In this way you can create this kind of design. You can see the design, you can see the topology, you can see the form. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.